this might be a sigh of relief, you know, like doing a four claw collet, like we'll cut out, get the exact mark exactly where you want it, the corner, and I'll cut it with a saw blade and then start filing it out, someone at the door, and I'll start filing it out to get the corner to fold up nicely. Um, you've got to be really accurate where you put that corner. So it might be a relief for you to hear that I'm not doing that with this. It's not like doing, a, <laughs> imagine doing eight of those, trying to get it really accurate. That'll be difficult and sort of a bit of a messy way to work when it's so many angle changes. Um, so that's why I'm starting with a thick piece of metal. So I'm just gonna bend it up with pliers. I'll do it quite well. And then for the exact flatness and corners, I'll do it with a file. But that's why we start with a thick bit of metal. So I've got room to do that. Looking for a nice right angle now with ability to file a nice flat in that corner and get it to fit good. So I'll just show you what I did a bit closer. Excuse my hands, just working on my motorbike. Um, see that? It's gonna have to be filed across a little bit. I've got that bend started there. I think once I bend that, it'll just be a little bit tight, which is great because that means I can file it back and then get the stone sort of just sliding in nicely. So I've been folding it up, see it's out of a line, look, I've overlapped, overlapped them. Uh, I had it all kind of square, so I was quite happy with its dimensions. And then I've just pulled it open again a little bit. So you can see it's like a bad shape now. It's like out like that, I've done that on purpose. I'm gonna cut through it. I want metal, I wanna be able to close it up and then cut through that join again, get it really tight and hopefully finished with it all nice and straight. a tapered edge on it so finding it thinner towards the top edge so there is going to be a thinner more convenient edge for setting um, but I want that look I want to see it from the side I don't want a blocky kind of straight sided wall setting edge I want to taper it up a little bit um, but the reason I go to this stage first is just because it's easier to get it all accurate you can match up the corners nicer looking at it this way you can see the symmetry of them just the distances of them everything's a bit more convenient for looking at it and judging things more accurately when you've got everything just all straight. So I get it straight first and then I taper it. So the side walls are still a bit thick, but I need to paper them yet. If this is a proper setting edge for a piece of jewelry you're making, it's still a long way from finished. So make it accurately, make it good, like practice doing your best always. But at the same time, that's still got to be set. So the metal's gonna be pushed about. You might lose these sharp edges a little bit. So you might have to paper disc it. Be very careful if you're paper discing near a stone when it's set in there, especially in emerald. Um, yeah, rubber wheels, needle files even, bus sticks. Uh, yeah, so it's still gonna get beaten up quite a lot. So I'm gonna say it's important to make it accurately. It's important to do a good job, but at the same time, it still needs work. So don't like go mad, don't cry about it if there's a little bit wrong, because there's still room for adjusting it even after this stage.